John Campbell. Simon. Great to get you in here for the chat. Fantastic. Because I can't yeah. catch you on the football part. <laughs> it's supposed to be walking football. Oh, you I know, know, I know. I'm learning. I'm trying to learn. <laughs> John, I must congratulate you because you're the third level, we call it, in walking football. Or I call it. Nobody else knows about this. Yeah. But what happens is somebody comes along to walking football. In this case, it was Jim Houston. Yeah. And we, we, he's a nice guy. Right, so he comes along with walking football, but generally he brings a friend yeah. eventually yeah. if you're lucky, and he's a bit better. And then the friend brings somebody that can actually yeah, you brought Colin so you're Skinner, third didn't level. <laughs> Colin Skinner brought you, yeah, that's right, and yeah. that's the third level. Yeah, that's if you don't get any pals, no. <laughs> <laughs> I've never tried the fourth level thing, maybe they get there eventually. How long have you been playing now, John? Walking football, yes. Oh. Played before lockdown, uh, Mulgai. Okay, uh, I didn't know there was a game up there. Was that a private club up there? No, it's Mulgai Football Club. Right. Um, I met a guy in Cathy Alba in Mulgai for breakfast and he invited me along to walk football and I had to be a laugh. And I said, you're joking. Well, that was my next question and was, what was your first thoughts? Well, that was my first thoughts, but he said, no, come along and see. And, and I, I went along and I really enjoyed it. It was great. We've got, a, well, it's not a theory. I don't know what the percentage is, but there's a large percentage of people that we recommend walking football to if you never come near us. Yeah. Maybe 70, 80% have the exact same reaction as you. So what got you to try it? What tipped the balance? Well, him, he got he, he talked me into it. Right. And then once I was there once, that was it. 10 I loved, minutes, I loved I it. I loved it, huh? Yeah. What do you love about it? The fact that you can run about and nobody else can? Is that the attraction? <laughs> I, just love, I just love it. It makes you look good. I'm, I'm a, month, oh, a couple of months off 60 and I just right. love the fact that I can play football now because yeah. I, I stopped playing when I was 46. So. You just missed out over 60s team by a couple of months. I'm February, glad, you're I'm glad. <laughs> <laughs> so late. <laughs> but you'll be there next yeah. year, John, that's for sure. John, where, do you, where are you from originally? What I'm from say? Coat Bridge originally. Right. Um, Okay, right. you escaped? Yeah, I should be an Albion Rovers supporter. But Have you not. got an SCRO number then, a criminal record number? <laughs> you should be wearing just now. No? <laughs> no. And you're from Cobridge? Cobridge, yeah. Congratulations. I'm a Drumpelier boy. <laughs> <laughs> you're the one that got away, I'm the one obviously. That got away, yeah. Yeah. So went to school and brought up in Cobridge? Yeah, I went to Cobridge High. Um, right. Actually, in my last, well, in the last few years, I played in the team there, obviously, and. Uh, I played with Graham Sharp. Right, what he team was, was that? He was uh, the, just the school team. Right, it's a striker. But they got Scott to striker. they got to the Strathclyde School Cup final at Lesser Hamden at the time. Right, and he was a striker, you know, Everton yeah. striker. Yeah, um, so we played. I played with John Work. Oh, did you? Yeah? BB. Yeah. Aye, that's my claim of him. And Andy Gray was in the Drum Chapel team that I played in. So. Well, the thing was, we played the Drum Chapel School, and that it was uh, Kingsridge. Oh yes, yeah. And uh, John McDonald was playing that night. Right. Um, uh, the Rangers guy, you know. Yeah. Oh, and I was marking him. Yeah. And we beat them 6 2. And of course, he scored the two goals. It was just what a player he was. Yeah. But it's amazing when you see that step up, isn't oh, it? That was great. Sharpie, can you get signed that night for Dumbarton? That was him. Wow. Mm -hmm. I played in a game down in Bournemouth. It was a kind of pro arm, if you like, for yeah. football. It's a charity mm -hmm. thing. And I managed to get into the, the squad. And Mariner was in the, the team against me. I was playing centre half beside Phil Thompson yeah. of Liverpool. Yeah. He just talked me through the game. It was a bounce game, you know. Ended up 15, 14 or something after like that. But I always remember Mariner. A ball was coming out of the air, and we were both going for it in the air. And he let it go in the air, kept me off it, kept me out the road, let it go past him, and brought it down with his foot. Yeah. You're talking about six feet off the ground, you know, it was just a different, oh, man, different game entirely, yeah. these guys played, yeah. great fun. So, left school, occupation, jobs? Uh, chartered quantity surveyor, right. um, mm. but I didn't stay in surveying long, I went in construction quite early on, uh, worked for a couple of um, builders, one in Glasgow, family business, and then started on our own. Right, So uh, today, started your own company? Aye, uh, today I work with my two sons, and. We buy farms and convert them into houses. Right. Basically. So it's you that's doing it? No, it's me, yeah. COP26, <laughs> you know, I heard about COP26. We should be doing this the other way around. <laughs> we should be buying houses and making them yeah, into farms. Yeah, yeah. So it's just farmland that's, that's it's lying. Just it's just redundant buildings that are no yeah. use. Old buildings that they can't get tractors in and stuff like that, you know. So they sell them off now and get, get a few quid for them. Okay. Yeah. So and your sons are going to run with that? 
My because son's are you're going to run that. No, I'm not retired, but I'm sneaking away for a few games of football. I was going to say you managed to play football any time right <laughs> there. You, it must be some job. But you're your own boss. So yeah, I am. Um, you can give yourself plenty of well, time off. I'm telling myself I am, um, but more than all these days I'm getting bossed about. So. <laughs> Aye, well, that's the whole idea, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's the whole idea. As long as they still give you the time <laughs> off. I'll sing you off for a Friday because I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> so from... From being, and you're obviously still fit, John, because you yeah. play for our over 50s and you, you do run about. Yeah, I do. Yeah, You need to be refereed. <laughs> what do you think of walking football now, having thought, poo pooed it initially? No, I think it's great. It I think I'm amazed at the amount of guys that are playing walking football and how good it is for everybody, you know, and fitness and, you know, guys. I'm amazed at the amount of skill level that's in walking football. It's really good. You've been watching me. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's the right answer. That's the right answer. You can come back here any time. You can edit that bit out later. <laughs> and you were here yesterday. Was that the first time in the cages with the walking football as well? No, no. I've played in the over fifties in there. In oh, the cages, of course. And yes. With Andy and Danny. different ball game yeah. altogether, though, wasn't uh, it? Because the ball's in play. Aye, all the time. it's always in play off the boards. Something that I wanted to get on camera with you was explaining to you that there are rules as well for walking football. Did has yeah. anybody ever told you that? No. I, Cammy said something about it once. <laughs> <laughs> There's a rumour. There's a rumour going about. Mm. <laughs> so what do you think about the the levels of walking football, John? You're probably the man. I've got a theory that to get people involved in walking football, we need to get them to take it seriously. Yeah. And that's the problem. Yeah. But once they start playing, some of them take it too seriously. Well, if you play, I mean, you know, on a Friday at um, the All In Football, that's just uh, yeah. as serious as it can get. It's quite competitive. And you've played in the competitions at, yeah. uh, at Ravens, Creek, yeah. not Ravens, sorry, Tory Glen. Tory Glen. You played at yeah. a different level again. Yeah, it was good though. Yeah, very yeah. intense. We've got a low intensity festival. Right. Are you going to come along with that? Yeah. I'll tell you why I'm, I'm asking you to come along because it'll give you an idea of why I'm involved in walking football yeah. and it's not the competitive side see if you put a ball on a park and put two teams on it that'll look after itself yeah, absolutely. the low intensity is about the people that normally couldn't get involved in team sports <coughs> uh, there's a young lad out there told me he'd never been allowed to play in a team they didn't want him in the team right. because he's not very good or right. whatever okay. and walking football gives us a, the chance to let all of these guys yeah, experience yeah. what you and I take for yeah. granted yeah. and experience a wee bit of the banter yeah. I'm going to make sure that a lot of the games go to penalties because they'll never have taken a penalty under any kind yeah. of perceived pressure yeah. although the, the score won't matter at the end of the day yeah. can you see that other side of it? Yeah definitely and I think it's great to be honest with you, I think, you know, to get all these people involved in a sport that everybody loves is, is yeah. uh, all these levels is great. Yeah. yeah. And does it add to your fitness? Oh, I, I mean, I've got, uh, we've got terrible heart history, uh, right. disease history in the family. My father's had a quadruple, my young brother at 46 had a triple. Right. And uh, I just sold a house to a guy there who um, as a heart transplant surgeon, I was telling him that, and he said, well, no the longer we're seeing you then. Right. So my aim is to keep fit. Yes. And yeah. as fit as I can. For as long as possible. Obviously, you can't do anything with genes, but, um, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Fitness is everything. Mm -hmm. And there's the two sides of it, that physical fitness, yeah. which is obviously what you're talking about, and the mental fitness. Yeah. What we noticed during lockdown, how was lockdown for you? Tough, huh? Was your business okay? Were yeah, you still... business was fine. I managed to work most days, to be honest with you. Right. Um, but, you know, it was it was just tough not doing anything. I mean, I played squash as well. I couldn't play squash, lots right. of things like that. Golf, couldn't play golf for a while. So, yeah. uh, I had to find other things to do. Mm -hmm. What about, uh, where do you live? I stayed in Mulgay. Right, the West End boy. Yeah, well. Yeah. Um, From Coatbridge to Mulgay. Yeah, that's yeah. really the Mel and Gabby. Side. That's surely the full circle, isn't it? Right there. As far away as possible. Yeah, from like the riff -raff into Mulgay now. And the thing I haven't asked you, because it's a tricky one with Coatbridge, is what team you support? Because you've got quite a catch. Well, as I say, it should have been Albion Rovers, but there was mm -hmm. more of a crowd at the Speedway on a Friday. Um, <laughs> and my grandpa was a great Airdrie man. Right. He used to take me to see Drew Jarvie. Oh, wow. Uh, when when Airdrie were playing yeah. now. Um, but I suppose uh, I think you've kind of modelled your game on Drew Jarvis <laughs> as he is now <laughs> <laughs> I'm <not> that good <laughs> uh, so you're an Airdrie fan is that what you're trying to tell me no no I'm no. not no I'm not uh, I suppose if I'm going I'm going to see Rangers right 
Because mm-hmm. the trick question I've just learned from our last guest was, if it's an old firm game, what team do you support? That's, <laughs> that's how we're going to call this people now. Yeah. <laughs> but that's uh, Colt Bridge is tricky with the catchment there. Yeah, and right. Adrian yeah. Mullivo and yeah. all the rest yeah. of it yeah. going yeah. on. Yeah. John, it's been great to chat to you. You too. Good luck with your yeah. business and uh, thanks good for luck with that walking do. football when you get the hang of it. Well, thanks for everything you do for walking football. It's really appreciated. No bother, John. Yep. Thank you.